Hello everyone, welcome to Vacationing From Home. My name is Whitney. This is the YouTube channel where I go through different resorts and see what they have available. Today we are going to be visiting the Moon Palace in Jamaica. If you are interested, let's begin. The Moon Palace is located in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. This is on the northern part of the island. We're going to start with the rooms available first. So like most resorts, they do have quite a few things to choose from. They have rooms with balconies, with ocean views, with resort views. There are some very nice walkout rooms available. There's a honeymoon deluxe suite. There are junior suites available, a family deluxe room available, a governor suite, and last but not least, a presidential suite. So let's view the lowest price room and also the highest price room and just see what they have available. The lowest price room is the deluxe resort view room. It accommodates two guests, including one child ages 4 through 17. I love how they give these 3D views of the room. That is kind of neat. I haven't seen that yet. It looks like this room can include one king size bed or two double beds. There's a private bath with shower, a French balcony, a liquid dispenser containing white rum, dark special rum, whiskey, and vodka. That's kind of interesting. And they also have a mini bar, wireless internet, a digital safe, and some other amenities. And as for the highest price room, this is the superior two bedroom presidential suite. This can either include one king size or two double beds, a terrace with chairs, a dining and bar area, a full bathroom, a liquid dispenser as well, an Xbox in the room, a mini bar, individual AC of course, and some other included amenities. So we're going to jump into the activities next. They do have a spa available. They offer massages, facials, wraps, and other treatments. What I really like about this website is that they do a lot of 3D tours. They give you like a 3D built of what the facility looks like and then they dive you into that specific area and show you a 360 degree view of what the place looks like. I think this is absolutely amazing. If you guys are interested, you should just check out this part. I think it's quite cool. They do offer a lot of tours at this facility. One of them is to the Yaman Adventure Park. Yaman. <laughs> At this adventure park, they do offer your choice of a mud buggy or an ATV. You get a secret river tour. There's a jitney ride. They do offer Jamaican cooking here as well. They do offer a stroll through a bird aviary where you can see the local birds and there's a camel encounter. They do offer some sightseeing through the Dunes River Falls. They will take you by bus to this location. This will include transportation, admission to the falls, a guided climb of the falls, and access to the craft market. Once again, they tell you what to expect expect to bring for this adventure. They do offer other activities such as swimming with dolphins. You can actually go visit Bob Marley's former home which is now turned into a museum. They have snorkeling adventures and other activities. They do offer a playroom for ages 4 and up. Their hours are from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The playroom includes air hockey tables, building blocks, a kitchen play area, complimentary arcade games, an indoor pulpit, and an outdoor kiddie pool. They do offer what is called the flow rider where you can simulate surfing here at the resort. They offer for a bodyboard at first, but then once you get more comfortable, you can use a stand-up board. And last but not least, they offer the Wired Lounge. This is the gaming center and arcade for kids and adults. This offers council video games, internet access, and of course, some tasty sweet and savory snacks to feast on while you are gaming. They do offer scuba diving. This is a Pad Eye certified program, and you can get your open water certifications done here at this resort. Let's go through the restaurants available next. The first restaurant is called the Belangery. I don't know if I'm butchering that or not, but this one includes fresh pastries, crepes, flavor coffees, ice cream, and hand-painted chocolates, and so much more. It is open 24 hours a day. La Gondola is next. This is an Italian restaurant. It is open from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. There is a dress code here, and there's also a full menu to view. Buccaneers Reef is next. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner options here, and they include an array of specialties from Jamaica and around the globe. Momo is an Asian cuisine restaurant. You do need a reservation if you want to be a part of the teppanyaki and hibachi tables, and it is open from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Pier 8 is an open-air restaurant that features Jamaican breakfast and a la carte options. It is open for lunch and dinner. And if you're interested, there is a menu available. The Gourmet Corner is next. This restaurant is for more of the people on the go where they can pick up pizza, sushi, and paninis. And the hours are from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Next is the Sun Deck Grill and Bar. They serve certified Angus beef products here. They serve pizzas, pastas, and more. You also get to be seated on a beautiful deck out looking the ocean. They're open for lunch and dinner. They do have three bars here at the Moon Palace. The first one is Club Noir. 
The next one is the martini bar, and we'll do a 3D view through that. And the last one is the loud bar. It holds the entertainment. They do mention they have shows such as the Michael Jackson show, the Latin show, and they also host karaoke. you guys enjoyed this beautiful tour of the Moon Palace Resort in Jamaica. If you have been to this resort, please leave a comment down below on what you thought of it, and I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.